morning, everyone. This is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. In the last episode, we took down Warlord Slasher. And now, it's time to rebuild the Staff of Riothamus. Also, last time we got Lug and Darren's keys, and now we need to find Zeke's and Trunk's keys of truth. And I'm going to get them right now, because I will be needing one one of them now, one of them later. I won't be switching out knights when I teleport. We're getting close to the end of the game now. We have almost all the shields set for tones, and we have all but four keys left to pick up. We're getting really close now. This will probably be done in a few more videos. Also, I've got up to 80 shield orbs in my inventory for the shield orb attacks because of the enemies getting harder from here on in. You won't be seeing Dark Knights anymore, or the blue ones for that matter, at this point on in the game. You'll definitely be seeing the red ones and the green ones again. Yep, they show up again. Enemies aren't going to get any easier. And now that I've taken care of the Dark Knights here, it's time to teleport. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the most northeast spot that you can, and you want to go left one. You want to teleport here, just two spots right of that where that waterfall was. Now go here and go north. You are now in the new area. Now, when you start, you want to go north. You want to keep going north until you find a fork. And you will have to take care of these guys too, the Red Knights. They show up out of the trees just out of nowhere. And I'm keeping these things ready because I can just two-shot these guys. When you reach the fort, keep going north. Now, let's keep going north. Even though there's no path, we still want to stick to that direction because... I want to make sure these guys follow me, at least one of them. Th th that's not helping. You know what? Forget you guys. I'm going to take on these wasps and crows myself. Now, it looks like they're guarding a piece of the staff. But they're not. If you go look at it in your inventory, you'll find out it's not even a piece of the staff at all. It's really bread. Don't know why you're going to need bread, but it's there for a reason, and, well, we are going to need it sometime soon. But for now, you want to keep going northwest, and then once you reach a fork, you want to keep going west. Go all the way to the west. And here, you'll find a staff piece, but you have up to eight of these red knights showing up out of nowhere. Thankfully, all your guys will be here at once. So, it's really easy to take them down, especially with the shield orbs on your side. With them out of the way, you can grab that, and then you want to go all the way to the south. And you want to keep going in that direction. Same thing here, until you reach a certain point. You'll figure out when that certain point is, and that's not it. Though they will get in, those guys will get in the way. Yep, the rock golems are back. They are totally back. But thankfully, Zeke was with me, and I was able to get rid of them all. Now here, you could just go back down south, but that will take you to areas that you won't want to be, because, well, we're done with that area. So you want to go west instead. And you'll eventually run into this farmer. Now, if you don't have the bread with you, he'll ask for either food or money. But, if you walk talk to him with the bread, he'll take the bread, and for payment, he'll give you a piece of wood. There's just one thing with that piece of wood. Where is it? Well, it's right here. We have a third piece of the staff now. He actually thought it was a piece of wood. Then again, it was part of the staff, so I don't really blame him. Now that we got that out of the way... I want to find a certain area, and to do that, we will have to go all the way to the 
west here. And we'll have the run into some green knights. These guys are jerks. And there are my guys. When you go all the way to the west, you can't go west anymore. You want to go north until you find this huge tree. Go in it. Now, you want to keep your guys with you. Or rather, let this guy come to you. This is a troll. And he will try to hit you with rocks and his club. But if you, can actually, if you don't move to the north and you stay here... There's a chance that one of your guys will attack him. You want this to happen because it makes this battle so much easier. And he does a lot of damage when he puts his club down and throws a rock at you because it will bounce off of walls and it will come to you. You can block them with your shield, but I still would not take the guy on one-on-one. -on -one. And there's not really much to this. So once you beat him, just take this piece of the staff that he leaves and go. We now have four pieces of the staff. Further to the north is Castle Blackroot, but the drawbridge is up and we can't get anywhere. So we need to do something that allows us to, well, get on with this area. First off, you want to take down these rock golems, and apparently you can hit them even while they're moving around in boulder form. I thought you couldn't, but there you go. And you want to go to the north, not all the way to the north from all the way to the west, but when there's a fort going north and east, you want to go east a little bit and then take the path north. Now, close by is an area where there are green knights. It's pretty close to where we showed up at. And they're definitely here somewhere. You can tell where they are. Here it is. It's a little bit to the east. Just stay low, go east. When you meet the Green Knights, you're there. See that door over there? That is actually an underground path that we're going to have to take to the two castles. Because, well, there's no other way to do it. Now, here's what you want to do. I'm going to go north here. Then when you reach this fork, you want to go all the way to the east, and you want to go south, and east again. This fork here, you want to go all the way north. Now go east from here, until you hit a wall. When you hit a wall, you will see a door to your north. When you see the door to your north, you enter it. Thankfully, your men will keep up with you. They will reappear along with you when you go through the door. Now, you want to follow the path. And you just want to keep following it. Thankfully, it is not as difficult as the first part, where it is easy to get lost. And this huge room right here, where the green knights and the blue knights are, you have a choice of going either north or west. If you go north, you'll go to the Dark Citadel. You don't want to do that just yet. Instead, you want to go all the way to the west until you reach a reach another door. Now here, once you go west, you want to go to the north. And then before you can go north, you have to go West again. Just keep following the path. And here's this jerk. The Black Knight. This is the only area where he shows up. Takes three shield orbs to kill him. And he's even worse than the Red Knights. He's even more powerful than them. Sadly, that's the only time he appears in the entire game. And by just going north at the dead end there, you're at Castle Brackroot. And this is very, very linear. All you have to do is follow the path, and you will get Zeke's key. There isn't even a boss here. Also, that leads outside, but that's only if you don't have Zeke. Thankfully, we have Zeke with us. We will never be using that outside door. Now, when you have a choice of going north or east, you want to go to the east. 
and you want to follow the path from there. Other than that, the path is dead simple. Also, there is a staff piece in this room. You do not want to miss it. You will see it as soon as you enter. And now you're in this huge green room full of enemies. We may run into them, we may not. And we ran into them, great. Thankfully, this is what these shield orbs are for. And I will definitely be refilling on them when I get out of here. And we really, well, we will run into other enemies here as well. We got another poison mist thing and some more green knights. Again, you want to keep your distance. Shield orb attack when you need to. Let the guys do some of the work for you. Heal them when you need to. And here is Zeke's key. Let's let him get it. And we now have Zeke's key of truth. And as long as he has the key, his blows will inflict greater damage to your opponents. Assuming you're playing as him. I won't be. But it's still useful because, well, he helped take care of that troll we had to fight pretty good. But we have Zeke's key. We have now been teleported to Camelot. And how am I doing on items? 56 isn't too bad. That's really not too bad, though I will be refilling for the next video anyway. Join me next time where we head back further north, go through that underground tunnel again, and take on the Dark Citadel. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!